They claim population has everything to do with it. There are a few, but they're precious to us. Combined, Roma, Esquivares and Rio Grande City are home to a little over 28,000 people. And the mayors of each city say the small numbers don't mean they need funding any less than larger cities. City Hall is 300 feet away from that river. When grenades go off in downtown Miguel Alemán, the windows of my office shake. You look at Roma High School, Roma High School is perched on a hill. What do you see in the mornings when you go to Roma High School? You see the plumes of smoke from the firefight that happened last night. Mayor of Roma Fred Guetta says he doesn't see border funding as a supplement, but as a necessity. If we don't get this border funding, then we don't have a police department. He's not alone. Both the mayor of Rio Grande City and Esquivares agree, saying until the federal government realizes that these small communities are seen as an open gate into the U.S. because they aren't protected, the problems won't go away. That until somebody at Washington or the levels where fundings are available realize that we are the threshold and we are the doorway, not a lot's going to get done because the problems are going to keep on escalating and we're going to keep on meet, meeting our, our, our goal of, of creating secure environments, but we're not getting enough help. All three say they've applied for grants and tried their best to get funding into the cities, but the grant process is competitive and not always a guarantee. That's why they're looking to the federal government for some type of help. Maybe we can bring in some additional manpower to take care of our people a little better and have them live in a safer environment. Action 4 News took these concerns to Congressman Henry Cuellar. He says since 2007, Star County has received more money than in years past. About $5 million up to date. Uh, and the way that operates, uh, every county along the border gets money, then the county will have to work out something with the cities and, re and, and, and talk about the monies that they're supposed to uh, get from that. Cuellar says in fiscal year 2011, Star County received $627,000. Of that money, he says, Roma and Rio Grande City will get $85,000 and Esquivares $10,000. He says if they want to work out something different, they need to get with the Star County Sheriff to do so. Still, the mayors say this isn't enough. They need more to keep their small communities safe. In Star County, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.